Hi, you guys. I'm Karen Strassman, and you are on Comics Online. I'm here with Karen, and your part is? Aunt Leela. Aunt Leela. And uh, uh, what, uh, what does Aunt Leela do uh, in, in, in this production? Well, I can't tell you too much because I don't want to reveal any storyline, but I will say that she is an older lady of an older generation. But the rest I'm going to keep rather mysterious, you see. For obvious reasons, storyline and such. Uh, can we know where she enters the story? No. Oh, well, all right then. Usually we can get that. My goodness. Okay, well, so uh, how did you first uh, first come uh, to be involved uh, with, uh, with this show? So Mike Ryan and I, the showrunner and, and writer, brilliant showrunner and writer, worked together um, probably a decade ago on a series called Monsuno, which was, a, it's, a, it's very popular all around the world, and he, he was the writer and author of it, and we did two and a half seasons of it. It was original animation, and we worked with, we were five actors who voiced every single character in the show. So it was Cam Clark, who your fans will probably be very familiar with, um, Keith Silverstein, Kirk Thornton, and Christopher Smith, so all big, big players in voiceover, and myself. And we, um, we voiced all of the characters, and I was the only female actress in the show, so I voiced in two and a half seasons 26 characters at last count. That's quite a stretch. So I did the main character who's a teenager, I did evil German character, I did an evil sexy character, I did all kinds of kids, I did old ladies, I did everything. And, um, and I didn't even audition for the show. Mike Ryan and um, the voice director, uh, Rene Veilleux, who directed Monsuno, called me in and said, we have a couple roles that we think, we think would be good. And I, I got in the studio and we started playing, like old times. Well, that is amazing. Um, well, let's see. No plot, no entry. Uh, how are you enjoying Comic-Con? <laughs> I just yeah you know you sign an NDA and you want you, you want to keep it a mystery. Um, it's it's really lovely this year. People are people are just happy to be here. You know, um, the fans and we we were in Hall H and it was packed. That sounds amazing. So I think I think there's a lot of people who were very excited about you know discovering Ghosts of Ruin. It was fun too because Alexa, who's a K-pop star. Um, is on the show and it's her first voice acting gig and it was so sweet because when I met her for the first time you know she's a big k-pop <laughs> star and um, she was just like I was so nervous to meet you Karen she's like I've been a big fan of you and Sonic and everything that you've done and Rouge the Bat and you know and it's just so sweet you know she's a big k-pop star and she she was excited to meet some of us as voice actors and grew up on some of our voices and there's just like such a simpatico, you know, when you come to Comic Con, and I think the thing that makes Comic Con is everybody who comes, you know. That's that's true, and uh, we as a Comics Online ha have been, uh, you know, really kind of sad about the the whole strike thing because so many of our our friends over the years are voice actors, and you know, those who were available and would have been here were like, oh, we got to stay home, sorry. Yeah, for myself, um, like I'm, I'm not. I'm choosing because of the strike not to talk about any of my on-camera work, which I do a lot of. Um, so here I can come and talk about anything that's under the animation contract, which is not on strike. And a show like Ghost of Ruins, for me, it felt really important to come here because this is like, these guys are indie, you know? They're independent animation, and it, they have built this from the ground up. And if I, and that's, and that is what this is about. Like, let's support, you know, not the big conglomerates, but let's support these smaller productions, these amazing creative people who have created these independent productions and you know I just want to I want to be here and I want to stand for them and I want to 
you know, I want everybody to see their show, you know, this, because again, it's not the contract that's striking. So I am allowed to talk about it, but I also want, I want the show to go on for them because there's no reason it shouldn't. And they are the little guys who, you know, we're fighting for, you know? True story. Well, hey, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Uh